Hi, this is Bruce with Wildtronics. Let's discuss our five pro parabolic microphones, the common features and the differences. First, all of them fit our 22 inch parabolic reflectors of which are not shown for simplicity here. All of them have our booster plate technology for increased low frequency response, gain and subject isolation. All of them offer quick easy assembly with rubber isolation mounting. They all have a solid nylon handle with accessory mounting provisions and aluminum quarter 20 threads in the base for quick, easy tripod and other mounting provisions. Now, let's discuss the details between each of the models. First, let's discuss the Pro Mono Parabolic Microphone. This one includes a very low noise microphone integrated into our booster plate. It's very low noise equivalent to 10 dBA which is very very good. The biggest differences in all the models are about the back panel. The Pro Mono Parabolic has two output connectors. One is your XLR output and one is your 3.5 millimeter output. The XLR output uh, can be powered using your phantom power and your recording device. The three and a half millimeter output can be powered with PIP if uh, your recording device is equipped well enough. Not all of them are for this microphone. Uh, if it isn't, don't worry. Uh, we have a replaceable internal 9 volt battery that installs in here with a sw on off switch right behind the handle here. The 3.5 millimeter is a stereo um, connector, so that if you have it going to like a camera or some other stereo recording device, you won't just get one side. The XLR again is uh, is your balanced output, and you can power both of the or run outputs on both of these at the same time. An XLR going to a professional recorder. Uh, three and a half millimeter cable going to your camera or something else or another recorder or something. So that's the basic models, uh, the basic pro mono parabolic microphone. Again, it includes a microphone and has two mic outputs. One thing to note, and sometimes a lot of people get this confused, is these are this three and a half millimeter is a microphone output, not a headphone output. We have another model coming up that I'll tell you about with has a headphone model. But that's it for this is the Pro Mono Parabolic Microphone. This is the Pro Amplified Mono Parabolic Microphone. It has everything the Pro Mono Parabolic has, including the very low noise microphone. The differences are is that it has an internal preamplifier built in. Um, you could think of it as a headphone amp or something like that if you don't know what a preamp is. Basically the preamp is does this. It still allows you to have a balanced XLR output that is not amplified. When you install a 9 volt replaceable battery in here and you turn the power on, you power up the internal amplifiers. The internal amplifiers will give you a line output right here and it will give you a amplified microphone output over here. The amplified mic output follows the gain of the line output minus 30 dB. You increase the gain control right here on the knob, turn it counterclockwise to increase gain with a total gain of 55 dB which should be plenty for a parabolic system since they have very high gain in themselves. The line output on this side can also be used as a headphone output. The internal amplifiers, pre-amplifiers on here are very low noise, exceptional low noise in fact. Minus 129 dB equivalent input noise on them, which is very high specification. Now, since these are very low noise and designed to have a very low noise line output, it also makes a very low noise headphone amplifier, one of the lowest in the industry. The advantages of having amplified outputs and line output is that you can make use of these very inexpensive handheld recorders. Typically they wouldn't really be recommended because they have kind of uh, noisy inputs. 
as we say. Um, but if you hook them up to our line output, turn the gain down all the way down on this, and use the gain control here to adjust your gain level, you'll have a, a, a very super system. Not only is it rather inexpensive, these cost maybe $100 or less, but it's very portable, and that's the key uh, a lot of times. We sell a little accessory bar that amounts to our accessory mount here that allows you, you to mount your little handheld recorder right to the handle. Lightweight, and you only have one little cable going from your recording device over to your line output. It makes something really portable, light, really run and gun capable with no uh, cable tangles or or hanging brick uh, recorders hanging off your shoulder. So it's a really cool system. So this is our amplified mono parabolic microphone. Again, this is only the amplified models allow you to use a, a headphone output. This is the Pro Mono Stereo Parabolic Microphone. Similar to the Pro Mono uh, Parabolic Microphone in that it includes a very low noise parabolic microphone. What it adds are two forward facing stereo microphones. Only the parabolic microphone in here on the inside of the plate is at the focal point of the parabolic reflector. Therefore, only the mono parabolic output channel will have the response of a parabolic microphone. Uh, the two forward facing uh, stereo pair microphones are outside of the focal point of the parabolic reflector. Therefore, the parabolic reflector has very little influence on their response. With the stereo pair, you get a 180 degree field of view, uh, which is ideal for stereo conditions. The front plate helps separate, gives some stereo separation. On the back panel, we have uh, multi channel outputs. Each of these microphones are in a different channel, they're not mixed at all. So we have three XLR connectors outputs, each can be powered by Phantom if you like or an internal 9 volt battery that we have available with a power on off switch right here. The top one is your mono parabolic microphone. The left side XLR is your left channel stereo and the right side is your right side stereo. We have three and a half millimeter outputs as well. The left one is your mono parabolic output and your right one is your stereo output. It should be noted that the three and a half millimeter outputs are mic level and not to be used with headphones. You can use all of these at once if you like, meaning that all of the uh, XLR and three and a half millimeter at once. The advantages are you can have any combination that you want to to use with this microphone. You can use just the stereo pair, you can just use the parabolic microphone, or if you have a multi-channel re uh, recorder, with multiple, you can accept the multiple outputs of the three channels and later and mix them in any which way you want, um, or a combination of different recorders. So that's the advantage of the Pro Mono Stereo Parabolic Microphone. It's three microphones in one, three channel output. This is our Pro Amplified Mono Stereo Parabolic Microphone. It includes everything on the Pro Mono Stereo Parabolic Microphone, yet this one is our top of the line model and it includes three internal amplifiers. The, three, the internal amplifiers power only the 3.5 millimeter outputs. The XLR outputs are non-amplified. Again, these are amplifiers are very low noise, minus 129 dB equivalent input noise. Very, very low noise. As you see, there's two gain control pots here. This side is for the mono parabolic amplifier, and this side is for the right left channel stereo pair uh, amplifier. There is also 
uh, right above the power on off switch there is a switch that goes to the left and goes to the right when the switch is turned to the left the stereo pair is turned off from getting into the amplified outputs when it's switched over to the right the stereo pair is turned on and mixed in to the three and a half millimeter amplified outputs the left side over here is your line output headphone output and the right side is your amplified microphone output which follows the uh, the amplified output uh, the line output minus 30 db the gain controls again um, are simple um, it's 0 to 55 db on the mono parabolic and 10 to 65 db on the stereo pair gain since this has a mixer as you notice when you could turn this one switch left and right you could turn it on or off but with the varying gains controls that you have available on this you could control the mixture of how much uh, stereo ambient is going to the your output and how much mono parabolic single subject is going to your output and anything in between that's the very unique thing about it it has the mixer straight built in you don't need a three channel or four channel mixer to make this work and you don't need to record uh, on a different uh, outputs either it comes out on a one stereo connector on a three and a half millimeter so you could connect your small recording devices such as this low and expensive recording devices mount it here with our accessory bar hook one cable up to your outputs and you're ready to record anything you want any way you want it to do uh, record it live um, you still have the XLR outputs of course they're unamplified uh, your mono parabolic is here your left uh, stereo pair is here and your right stereo uh, pair is he over here and it's all powered up by the 9 volt battery internal to it um, you can use phantom if you're just using the XLR output so it's just like an all-in-one recording solution it does everything you want it to and any way you want it to um, a very uh, low noise stereo pair and an exceptionally low noise parabolic microphone so that's your amplified mono stereo parabolic microphone top of the line model this is our pro universal parabolic microphone universal in that it doesn't have an actual microphone you supply your own microphone on this model we recommend any omnidirectional microphone to, to be used in here um, you will be pointing your microphone when you get your microphone say this is a microphone you will be pointing it in the hub here pointed towards the dish this one's similar to all of our other pro units and includes the booster discs to increase the low frequency response, increase the gain, and subject uh, isolation. What it is different is it has this hub here. This hub allows you to insert your microphone. When you insert your microphone, you can uh, tighten it. You tighten it up with these two thumb knobs. They're nylon, plastic, so it won't scratch or ruin your uh, microphone. Uh, what's important here is that when you insert your microphone that you actually get the actual element surface flush with the surface of the booster plate here on some microphones uh, they may have caps on it or something like that and that's not the actual element so you maybe need to reference your uh, or call up your manufacturer of your microphone to find out exactly where that element surface is so you can align it up this is uh, you can see here there's nothing in the way and then once you have it lined up you tighten the thumb screws down you can install your little windscreen in here into the windscreen holder for wind protection once you have your ca um, microphone installed we have a cable it's an XLR cable shorty XL uh, 90 degree angle you plug that onto the back of your uh, microphone then your other, uh, this other side of the cable goes into, into this uh, cable here on the outside of the booster plate. Then we have internal wiring that goes to the back panel 
and you have your XLR output here which will be your mic output then so you can connect any XLR cable that you have to your recording device from there. So that is our Pro Universal Parabolic Microphone. Just add your own omnidirectional microphone that you may already have and you got a beautiful parabolic microphone. So that's an overview of all five Pro Parabolic Microphones from Wildtronics. If you have any other questions, you can always give us a call, write us an email. Uh, so pick one out today, uh, give us a call, order one, go to our website, order one, whatever you do, order a professional Wildtronics parabolic microphone.